Welcome back, or welcome to another episode of Scam Reviews. If you're new here, this is a series where I rewatch and review every single episode of Scam, and then break them down scene by scene. I recently finished watching seasons one and two of Scam Friends, and I am now watching the third season. If you haven't listened to my reviews for the first two seasons, feel free to check them out. If you're viewing this on YouTube, like, subscribe, maybe share, and follow me on Instagram at Scam Reviews. We have a lot of fun over there. All right, let's get into the recap. But first, roll intro. Hell yeah, let's talk about scam bitches. Okay, so previously on Scam Friends, Luca and Elliot are getting closer, and Luca makes his friends and Chloe upset by missing the party. That was pretty sad. Um, I would have too if I was Luca and I was Elliot's presence. Yes, um, any plans would have been cancelled just to be in the same airspace as Elliot. That's right. He is precious. Okay, <laughs> I don't blame Luca. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It was it was pretty sad what happened. He feels like crap in the end, and then more when he finds out that Elliot has a girlfriend. Y'all pray for Luca because this is just crazy. Episode three is just. I can't even. Let's just get into it though. I didn't even mention that piano scene that I love. That was so cute. Luca playing Elliot the piano. It was everything that I needed in that moment. And I'm happy it's kind of France delivered. <laughs> that made me really happy. Okay, let's just get into the episode now. Okay, episode three opens up on Monday morning. And Luca's at school. And he's approached by the guys. It's super awkward at first. Um, they're um, mad. I mean, Basil's the maddest. The auteur, who is just beautiful, and Jan are just, they're pretty chill about it. They're not as mad as Basil is. And Luca tells them he basically lies. Didn't go to the party it was because he had issues at home with his mom. And I guess that's not entirely a lie. But still, it's 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 just sad. He uses his mom as an excuse. He has to lie to his friends because he doesn't want to tell them that he was with a guy like last night. He stood them up to be with um a guy. Come on, Luca, please. Uh, but yeah, he says his mom is just you know. And then Jan is concerned because Jan knows about his issues at home, and Basil is pretty mad. But Jan and Artur are more reasonable and chill about it. Artur and Jan are totally more chill about it than basil basil what is i don't i don't know what it is i don't like him i thought i was gonna like him but i don't like him i thought i was gonna like all of them but i only like two out of five of them like what's going on here it's just so weird and strange like who is this guy honestly not even really a bad thing because i've known so many guys like basil in high school they're just so strange and hormonal and just all over the place and just saying the stupidest shit so i totally get it why he's the way he is okay it's it seems realistic for him to be this annoying and just wow but like we're in a tv show can he be perfect please that would be a lot more better <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding i just don't like him though. i'm not a big fan of basil but hey it's the third episode we'll see where everything goes right okay as i was saying before okay Artur asks what's wrong with his mom but jan quickly changes the subject because luca's obviously uncomfortable with the situation right now i feel like we should talk about jan for a second i don't know he's just in this he's in this scene he's just so nice he's such a nice he's just such a cool guy to luca he's a, he's a great friend okay he sees him talking about his mom he knows his um, his mom's issues Right, and he just sees how uncomfortable Luca is with the conversation. He's like, hey guys, let's just stop talking about this for a second. Let's just move on. Let's let's change the subject because my dude is uncomfy right now. He's just really, really um, sweet in this scene, and that's just, that's really nice. And so is Artur. Artur is really nice too. He's just there. He's asking questions, right? He's concerned. And then Basil's just like, dude, why did you stand us up? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Basil, go away. Just leave, please. And Jan is asking about Luca's mom and saying, hey, she's at the clinic, right? So his mom has been in a hospital, I guess. I don't know if that's the same thing in OG, if she was actually getting help. Luca's like, let's talk about something else, man. And Jan is like, sure, okay. End of subject. And then Luca texts mom, apologizing for not texting back, saying he has a lot of 
schoolwork. Let's see on the scene though. That, that was really short, really simple, really nice, I guess. Okay, let's just move on. Now we're days later and Luca is avoiding Chloe, which is just, come on, really? And he runs into the girls in the common room and he learns that they're planning a secret party. Like this whole thing is just, oh my God. I can't wait to get into that. Let's see, let's see yeah, that's later on though. Cause that was just sick. Um, Daphne is stressing about this because the party is going to be held on school grounds. I mean, how the balls on this woman. The girls call Luca the new man, and I like this part. The, gr the girls call him part of their crew. He's always with them, which is just so sweet because he is always with them. He's always laughing and bantering with them, which is just amazing. This, I love this change that they made for this remake. It's so... It's not big, but it's still nice you know to have luca is becoming friends with the girl group they're all friends you know in og they weren't like the guy group and the girl group they weren't really all friends like really all close but in this one it seems like they are like they all know each other and they're all friends i mean actually not now they're not really friends friends right now but i remember later on watching they're all like one group in seasons what was it five six yeah, they all become one group, which is really nice. And they didn't do that in OG Scam, which is, it's not even a bad thing they didn't do that they didn't do it in OG Scam. This one is just, it was just nice though, that they did that. Thank you, Scam friends. I didn't know I needed that. Roman is mentioned for a brief second, so he is in this season. I remember saying for a podcast for season two that I didn't know if Roman would be in this season. He is. And that's the end of that. Um, we also learned that Alexia is bi in this scene um set up for future seasons because she does i feel like she, i'm i vaguely remember her having a girlfriend or was it just arthur whatever and this one i'm pretty sure they mentioned that she had a girlfriend and then she's she ends up dating arthur and then remind yeah it's a whole thing i can't remember it though but yeah alexia is by we've established that and then they get into a conversation about sexuality and it's just Lucas is asking questions, you know, he's still confused about who he is and what he wants, I guess. And Alexia is just like, she's giving him facts. And I love that. Luca is still figuring out everything, which is just, okay, we're getting there. But still, I remember a lot of questionable things happening between Luca and Chloe that I didn't like. Okay, memory has sprung up. And I remember saying I didn't know what the hell was happening. I didn't remember anything, but I remember this. I remember not liking Luca for a hot minute because of what he was doing. He was essentially trying to hide the fact that he may or may not be gay. And he was just doing it in the most destructive way. But we're gonna get to that because that's coming up soon. Later that night, Luca... Oh my god, I remember this from OG. Luca is taking a test to see if he's gay. Yeah, this was an OG scam, and wow. Then he then he searches up how to make it so no one knows you're gay. Um <laughs> oh my god. It's so sad. He clicks on this audio thing of this guy talking about how he fools everyone into thinking he's into girls. Basically, just being an asshole to girls. <sighs> that just made me sigh. The biggest sigh. Um, and then Luca, he kind of did what the guy was explaining in season two with Sarah. I realized that. Remember in season two, in season two it was revealed that Luca and Sarah are going out. Remember Sarah is Ingrid's best friend. And we learned that they're going out. Um, randomly, Luca breaks up with Sarah. I'm pretty sure it was him who broke up with her. I think I remember, right? I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yeah, he broke up with Sarah, and yeah, I feel like that's what he was doing. He was just dating Sarah to prove that he can date a Sarah, right? And he's doing the same thing with Chloe, which is just not okay. It's not okay to treat people like this. Anyways, it's the next day, guys, and the bros are peeping on the dance team, and... Luca is an asshole when he talks about the girls. In that audio thing, the guy was like, he talks about girls' boobies and their their, their bodies and all of that in objective ways. Oh, he's like, oh, that girl's, her, her, her chest is just not up to my standards. The color of your eyes is not working for me, baby. Um, love, can you be any more shorter? Mm -mm. 
you need to be taller, sis. Oh shit, you got hair on your legs? Uh-uh, it's a no for me. It's just really rude. I kind of love how they're making us not like Luca, though. I feel like we're not supposed to like him at this point because he's being such an asshole, but you're not supposed to hate him, right? It's just like, I don't know what the feeling is, but I don't love him, okay? I'm not, I don't appreciate his behavior right now, but I understand, right? I understand why he's doing this, and that just makes me feel sorry for him. I like how Scam France is making Luca into a flawed character. In OG Scam, Isaac was flawed, but like, not so done in this way anyways and then basil talks about daphne some more he's talking about how he had a very interesting dream about her while uh, he's going on and on about daphne and his sexual dream about her daphne is right behind him and she heard everything wow classic the the, um, the old talking about um, about a character and then the character is standing behind them being like yeah i heard that Daphne hears everything and she's not having it. <laughs> I love Daphne in this scene. She's so, she's so like, you guys are pathetic. Like, who do you guys think you are? You know, she's, um, Daphne is a bad bitch. And Basil is just crushed that Daphne finds him revolting. Okay, later on, Lucas sees Chloe and then he tries to make amends with her. He tries to talk to her and apologize. But I noticed in this scene that when Lucas standing at the end, the foyer he sees his friends on one side and then chloe on the other and he's looking at them both with this with his this look on his face he's like hmm maybe i should talk to chloe and make up with her and then my friends will see and then you know because they'll think that we're be we've become a thing and that was his plan all along because remember the, the 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 research he did the other day come on luca oh this behavior he apologizes and lies to this girl and says he's falling in love with her i love you you're just so amazing we kissed and we're having a thing and he's like i didn't expect him to fall madly in love with you chloe i'm just so in love i can't even think straight my brain is mush and i'm so in love he's just lying to her to her face and it's just she's like eating it all up she's like aww really okay well i forgive you now stop this madness luca please at least it's the one you want and chloe forgives him she believes him oh, and then she gives him a big smooch and the guy they're watching which was the plan all along okay luca planned for this to just make up in front of his friends and make them think that he likes this girl anyways and elliot shows up slight change from og i noticed in this scene okay so in this scene elliot gives back luca's scarf they left at his place but in og when the guys ask why he has his i don't know if it, i think it was a hat or a sweater no she doesn't really matter he uh, the guys ask why um evan has his thing and then Evan is the one who lies for Luca and says, you found it somewhere. But in Scam Friends, Luca instead lies and says that um, Elliot just found it in the common room or something. And I kind of like this change because it just shows how Luca is trying to distance himself from um, Elliot in front of his friends. And in OG, it was just Evan. I guess Evan knew that um, Isaac was not comfortable in this situation so he lied for him when his friends started started getting suspicious i don't know um at first elliot seems like kind of crushed and then he kind of plays it off like okay whatever and he leaves and it's just so sad he's just his heart is breaking on the inside okay i know it and luca is just he's shitting bricks at this moment he's oh my god i hate saying this but luca is such an a-hole here he calls elliot when the guys ask who he is he calls him a nobody and a stalker um baby really and the guys are like chill like calm down like dude you don't have to be so rude oh my god and then they all get a text about the party remember the part from the first part that i was talking about in the common room at the, at the school and then luca is oh my god i love this part luca is gazing at the way elliot left thinking about him he's just looking at that um little door where elliot walks through my heart and that's it that's the end of the scene and then later we're at a party we're at school and this is actually kind of cool i mentioned this before i love this ending this last scene 
is just so cool. So everyone is at the school waiting to have a party at the school. And they got on masks and hoods as if, as if they're robbing the place. Like what is going on? This is, it's sick though. It's so cool. Everything is just so much better in this season than the first two. I love this so much. Okay, so Alexia goes in to open up the school, the gates, and then it's so sick. Okay, it's so cool. I can't stop saying that, but it's so cool. And they're waiting for her to open the gates, and then she opens them, and everyone is saying amaze balls. Like, what is going on? We've said amaze balls like five times in this episode already. Okay. And then the party happens, and it's so awesome. I'm jealousy is just coursing through me right now i just want to be there it looks like so much fun cinematography is just so much better in this season it's so it's there and i'm enjoying it and then we have alex and emma alexander and emma are making out and then they leave to do something and then alexia is with roman and basil and they're talking about her ex for a second her ex-girlfriend and Roman is like, you have an ex-girlfriend. What? And then Alexia is like, yeah, dude, I'm um, bi. <laughs> Hello? And then Roman is just like, he gets all excited and like, seriously, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get back to the party. Um, later on, Daphne is stressing out and Iman is trying to calm her down. And then we have Basil trying to dance with Daphne, which is just so funny. We have this whole montage of Daphne and Basil. And then Daphne is shielding herself with Iman. And it's just like, come on, Daphne, come on. I mean, I know Basil's like, wow, but you can't use your messy to shield. I mean, <laughs> it's funny though. <laughs> He's just trying to get in the middle of them. It's just everything. And Daphne is like, no, we're not doing this today. We're not doing this here on this day. And then we move on and we see Luca and Chloe talking. And Luca and Chloe, I noticed this, they're talking about music and Chloe mentions that she likes, you know, old school rock, retro. And I noticed that that's Luca's taste in music. He's, he mentioned that to Elliot earlier on. I think that was the second episode. Yeah, that was the last episode. He, he mentioned his taste in music and I was like, yes, thank you, Luca. And then Luca says he, instead he says he likes like dubstep and that's Elliot's music. Ah, hard eyes. It wasn't really cute for Chloe though, because he's lying to her. I don't know why he's, I feel like he's just trying to distance himself from Chloe in a way. Trying to make her like him, but not like him too much because he's going to eventually break off with her and move on to the next girl, which is what um, he was advised to do, right, in his research. And then in this part, Chloe makes uh, an ignorant comment about gay people in general. And Mika and she's Mika dancing and having a good ass time. Um, why is Mika there? He's like, how old is Mika? He's an adult. What is he doing? I don't know. These are teenagers, sir. Why are you here? Anyways. And then Alexia is annoyed at that. She's like, um, why do you gotta generalize gay people like that? It's not how we, what? Chloe, baby, uh, just stop talking. And then Luca and Chloe go and dance and run into Elliot and his girlfriend, Lucille. Her name is Lucille in this remake. And then we have my, one of my favorite scenes from OG Scam. Oh my God, this is just wild. So we have Luke and Elliot staring at each other while making out with their partners. Oh my god, the power this scene holds. It is so intense. Like, I can feel this in my soul right now. It's insane. The flashing lights. And then Luca and Elliot, they got one eye on each other. And it's just like, what the hell is going on? Oh my god. I love this so much. It's so intense. But the party... Um, abruptly comes to an end when they get caught and Elliot and Luca find each other in the chaos and it's just like wow hard eyes <laughs> they leave together and they start talking about Chloe and Luca tells him that he's stressing out Chloe is just stressing him out and they talk about Lucille and uh, Elliot's comments on how his relationship is just he says that the relationship is coming to an end and he says he doesn't really want to be with her anymore and then luca's like well are you gonna find another girl hmm 
And then Elliot is like, um, maybe not another girl. Wink, wink. And then this scene, okay. So they are about to, I don't know if they're about to kiss in this scene, but it seemed like it. They were staring at each other pretty intently, but it is broken apart when Manon shows up. She just, come on. Manon is here, by the way. Okay. She, she's she's back in Camp France. She was in London with Charles, and now she's back. Okay. Did I miss Manon? I definitely miss Nora. When she came back, I was like, oh my god, hell yes. Thank you. But Manon is here, and now it's just like, um, crickets. I'm sorry. I like Manon, okay? I know I said I didn't like her, but I think she's fine. She's pretty, she's, uh, she's not a Nora. Not really. She doesn't really remind me of Nora. She's just Manon. Ray, she, she's not a Nora. She can never be a Nora. Um, I feel like she's fine. She's fine on her own, though. Oh yeah. Okay, back to this scene. This scene. Ah, uh, Luca and Elliot are trying to talk, and man is like, "Hey, stop doing that. I'm here now." Ah, uh, and I gotta say, it's not as intense as it was in OG. I like how they did in OG. They were Evan and Isaac were so close to making out. They were so close to touching lips. And then they hear some noise in the other room and then they see Nora. Like, what, Nora? What are you doing here, you know? Uh, it's just the tension. What happened to the tension, the, the climax? It wasn't there. I don't know, I wasn't a fan of this last scene, but that's only, that's only because I was comparing it to OG. I feel like I shouldn't do that as much with this season because it's really different from OG Scam. It has a lot of the same um, pieces, but a lot of things are really different in this um, season. Uh, I feel like I will still keep comparing though, honestly. It's a remake, so I gotta... Okay, I'll stop comparing when I get to season 6. Okay, friends, that was... This was a lot. I love this. This is the end, that's the end of the episode. So, Luca's plan to pretend to be straight what are you doing, Luca? I can't with this guy right now. It's just, I said this before, I feel so sorry for him because he has to do this because he's just so uncomfortable with who he is. I hate the way he's treating Chloe and will continue to treat Chloe in the future, like future episodes, because I know it gets even worse. And then we have Basil and Daphne. I feel like I should mention them because they're just sprinkled throughout this episode. They're really cute. I <laughs> like that I mentioned this. I like the scene where Daphne is shielding herself with Iman from Basil because she just finds him so repulsive. Or maybe it's because she really likes him. Maybe it's both. Um, and then we have Elliot returning Luca's scarf, which is just... And then Luca making a big deal out of it. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's just a stalker. Like, who is that guy? Ew. Uh, uh, Luca please and then we have luca's mom with yam we're talking about luca's mom i feel like i should mention this too and i mentioned how i love how yan was just so helpful and concerned and considerate about luca's situation you know he's he loves his friend and that really shows it's it's great okay it's great it's refreshing and then luca and chloe yeah, I mentioned this a second ago. Luca is just leading her on, and it's just not okay. You can't do that to somebody, especially someone so young. Like Chloe is like a year younger than him, and she's just so impressionable and naive, and she just believes everything, and she's just so hyper <laughs> and young, you know. And then at the end, Luke and Elliot. It's great. The, that scene, that party up, that the part. Oh my god, that's just the the the. the intensity and that scene was just insane they're just staring at each other and making out with their girlfriends probably wishing they're making out with each other it's like what in the world am i watching right now um my favorite scene my favorite part of this episode would have to be the party scenes as i mentioned i was so excited to get to this because it's just the cinematography in this episode is gorgeous okay it's 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 on another another level Okay, um, next week's episode will be talking about episode four. I'm very excited about that. Um, episode four is where things just get even more crazy. I want to ask you, how did you feel about this episode? I loved it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> throw that in. I love this episode. This was great. And what were your what was your favorite part? Just tell me that if you want to. Comment down below if you're reviewing this on YouTube. And if you aren't, come down to my channel, Delia Talks. That's Delia with three E's because I'm quirky. And join the conversation or start it. 
please subscribe and like and follow me on instagram at scam reviews we have a lot of fun over there that's all for today's review thank you so much for listening guys i hope you will stick around for more i post on fridays and i'll see you next week where we will discuss the next episode try to have a better day than i am bye fellas